Assalamu alaikum, hürmetli dostlar. Mr. Atabek TV kanalıya ve New York'un Gabriel Law yuridik kampanyasıya hoş geldiniz. Ağırge vaxtlarda menge New York'taki vatandaşlarımızdan bana şimdi savaşlar çıkmaqda. Yani bu arada vatandaşımız avariye çıkmaqdan buluşu mümkün. Ya ki koçuda, üyüde bu arada travma oğlan buluşu mümkün. Ve onlar Mahsus yuridik kampanyalarına müracaat kılış alma yaptı. Ne demek? Çünkü bazılarda hücret yok. Yani onlar Amerika'da no kanuni tarzda yaşayacak. Bu bir hüni söz var, nilgal. Şu tarzda, eğer de hücretler bulmasa, lakin travma alışkan olsa, yuridik kampanyalarına müracaat kısa buladı mı ya ki yok mu? Kala verse, insurance kampanyaları, yani bunlar biz bulamız, strahavay kampanyaları. Yani bana şu kampanyaları bulan biz kanaklı bir şaşımız gerek. Bana şu Hama savalarını ben Gabriel Law Kampanyası'nın advokatı Jason'a vermek için. Çünkü Jason advokat buluştan aldın. Kup yıllar devamı da insurance kampanyası'nı işlegen ve bazı bir sırları da cüdeyem yakışı biladı. Demek ki asasi maksat bugünkü intervüden. New York'ta istiqabat kuletken vatandaşlarımız. Hücretleri bu mesela. Pasportu hem yok, Amerika pasportu hem yok, Green Cartası hem yok. Lekin bana şimdi korkunçili vaziyetke çıkıp alıştı. Yürüdü kısmetten. Bir pul tarzda faydalanıp milyon dolarlık kompetansiyonu asıl buladı mı ya ki yok mu? Bana şu sorulara cevapını hazırda biz Jason'dan alalımız. Hello Jason. Hi, how are you? I'm well. What about you? I'm doing great. Happy to be here. Thank you. So before to be an injury lawyer, you worked for the insurance company, yes? Yes, that's correct. So we'll talk about that one uh, a little bit later. But for the first question, it's a very important for me and for Uzbek community in New York, uh, how to say a little bit diplomatic. So just imagine one person from Uzbek community here in New York, he or she doesn't have any documents, how to say, undocumented. Undocumented. Yes. But uh, they have some injury problem, mm -hmm. I could say, car accident or something like that. So. Can they be the clients of Gabriel Law Company? Absolutely. So we have this happen all the time. Lots of communities have this issue. They come to us and they're taken well care of. Your immigration status does not affect your right in New York to sue for injuries related to a work accident, a personal injury, a slip and fall, or an automobile accident. You have access to the courts in New York and you are absolutely free to bring these lawsuits. Additionally, people don't have to worry in New York about anyone running to the government, telling them that they're undocumented. They're not, that's not going to happen. We will take care of you and we'll take care of the clients and we'll make sure that those issues are not something that gets in the way of their recovery. Thank you. Demek ki sizi hiç kim departasyon kımıydı, sizi hiç kim bu devletten çıkaz varmıydı ve sizi immigration statusiz Hormatli New York'ta istikamet kılıyorduk ya vatandaşlarımız. Umumun hiç kanaka rol oynamaydı. Eğer de siz avariye geçip oğlan bulsanız ya ki burada travma oğlan bulsanız. İltimaz, bana şu narsa hiç kaçan esilden çıkıp olmasın. Çünkü birinci oranda sizi sağlığıyız ve ikinci oranda sizi sağlığıyız bulan bağlı bulan muamalarını doktorlar tuğulaşı için bilesler Amerika'da medisinin nukayeti kımmat. Bana şimdi advokatlarına müracaat kısayılır. Demek ki hem ıı, tibiyat hizmeti sizlerge bir bölge düşüyordu. Hem sizler kompensasyon alışıyorlar mümkün. Devam etmemiz. So, uh, about insurance company. Because of you have the huge experience here yeah, at this area. Would you please tell us some important things which we have to know about Uh, the work of uh, working process of uh, insurance companies. Right. So having worked in an insurance company, I understand what they're trying to do to stop from having to pay you. So first, an insurance company collects premiums from their insureds. They collect money from their insureds. They don't want to pay that money out. They keep it in the bank or they keep it invested. So they make more money on that money. The faster they pay it out, the less money they make. So they want to do two things. One, hold the money as long as possible, and two, pay as little as possible at, when they are forced to eventually pay. So what do insurance companies do? They know when certain law firms send a case in to them that those law firms are not going to be aggressive. I remember working as a per doing defending personal injury cases for the insurance company, and I knew certain law firms that when they would call, 
I knew I didn't have to pay much attention to them. They weren't going to get me all the medicals. They weren't going to file a lawsuit. They weren't going to take all the steps necessary to actually push the case forward fast and aggressively. So what did I do? Less work for me. I didn't have to worry about them. I could basically, I don't want to say ignore them, but you could basically ignore those law firms. And there are a lot of law firms out there like that, unfortunately. Insurance companies don't want to pay fast. So I was rewarded for not dealing with those law firms at my job because I didn't have to pay out money and I certainly didn't have to pay it out fast. So those very important when you're a personal injury law firm that you're aggressive with your cases and that is the number one thing I think I learned working for an insurance company. The aggressive lawyer gets paid more and faster and that's something that all clients want. Get paid more, get paid faster. That's the best thing that can happen for them. And what you have to understand is plaintiff's lawyers don't make more money by doing more work. We get paid basically when you get paid. You've seen the commercials. Um, we only get paid when you get paid and we take a portion of a settlement. So doing extra work doesn't help law firms. So there are a lot of law firms that don't want to take that extra step in doing the law firm. But my, all my experience tells me is if I'm not aggressive, if I don't get my paperwork done, if I don't file that lawsuit, the insurance company is going to ignore me. And you're not going to get your case settled fast. You're not going to get as much money as you should. So here, we're aggressive, and we take those lessons that I learned at working for the insurance company. I take that lesson, and I put it to use so that my clients get paid faster and more money. Okay. Thank you. Dostlar, menimcha, juda ham hammasi tushunarli bo'ldi, chunki eshitganingizdek, har qanday insurance kompaniyasi hamisha kamroq va uzoqroq sizlarga kombinatsiyani to'lashga harakat qiladi. Shuning uchun ham agarda to'g'ri advokat tanlagan bo'lsangiz, advokat demak barcha agressiv metodlarni ishlatgan holda nafaqatgina katta kompensatsiya balki tezroq mana shu kompensatsiya to'lanishida sizga yordam berishi mumkin. Chunki bilasizlar Amerika qo'shma shtatlarida qonun ishlaydi. Do'stlar, agarda ushbu video sizlarga yoqqan bo'lsa, bitta like sizlar bilan o'rgilib ketsin, faqatgina dislike bilan adashtirilgan holda va agarda haligacha Mr. Otabek TV kanaliga obuna bo'lmagan bo'lsangiz, demak, hozirning o'zida ushbu videoning tagiga tushamiz va u yerda qizil tugma nishonini topamiz. O'zbek tilida yozilgan obuna bo'lish, ingliz tilida subscribe, rus tilida podpisatsiya, uchun shunaqani bosib qo'ysangiz, oldida qo'ng'iroqchi ham bor. Agar uni ham bosib qo'ysangiz, demak, har safar biz yangi video qo'ygan paytimizda sizlarga xush xabar keladi. Mr. Otabek TV kanalida yangi video qo'yildi. Nima yomonlardim? Mr. Otabek TV kanalida va New Yorkning Gabriel Law Yuridik kompaniyasida ko'rishganda ko'rishguncha. Thank you, Jason. Thank you very much.